right, welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. I'm here with Robbie today. And Robbie has brought out his Aero Precision build. It is an, a, an AR-10 pistol. And I'm going to let him tell you about it, but we're going to shoot 308. We found some of this. Uh, he was searching desperately for ammo the last few days, so this is what he's found. 2810 is what it's supposed to be going out of a regular barrel. It's probably a bolt-action 22-inch barrel they did that out of. So we're going to see what it gets out of this 12 and a half. 12 and a half, right? Yep, 12 and a half. 12 and a half inch AR. And then we've got some M80 ball. And in the magazine already, there's some uh, PPU M80 ball. So we're going to see what the variances are and how much velocity we actually lose in this. Robbie, you want to talk about your build? Yeah, sure. So it's a 12 and a half inch uh, AR10 308. Uh, it's an aero precision upper lower SLR handguard, separative arms, uh, adjustable gas block. And then we've got uh, the rugged mu muzzle device for my Micro 30. And for optic, I'm just running a Aimpoint T2 on a ADM mount. Other than that, it's pretty standard mil spec. So, yeah. Cool. Well, let's get it over the chronograph and see what it does. All right. Thanks for watching Alaskan Ballistics. Robbie has lent us his 12 and a half inch aero precision build. And he's got a rugged Micro 30 suppressor on here. 308 Winchester. We got three rounds of the Razorback Winchester stuff, then three rounds of Magtech M80 ball, and three rounds of PPU M80 ball over the chronograph. You're gonna see how much velocity you lose right here. 24, 21, 24, 97, 24, 44. And we have a jam, loading the M80. Twenty-four seventeen with the M80 Magtech. Twenty-four thirty-three. Twenty-four hundred. Here we go. PPU. Twenty-four seventy-five. Twenty-four twenty-four. And twenty-five seventy-four on that last one. So we got anywhere around the twenty-four hundreds with one fifty grain type bullets in the range there. Twelve and a half inch barrel. That lets you know kind of what your ballistics are going to be. Watch the add up slide, and then we're gonna do a penetration test with the Winchester Razorback ammo. So here's our add up slide. It's kind of interesting how much velocity we actually lost in a 12 and a half inch barrel. Some of these standard deviations might be my fault as it wasn't quite flat over the chronograph, so some of y'all might wanna troll me politely in the comments for that. And if you don't do it politely, YouTube's been taking away some comments recently, it's crazy. So, it was interesting, still the PPU has always had bad standard deviation for me. Enjoy the rest of the video, and if you have any suggestions on how to get rid of a jam going up into the feed ramp from the magazine, let us know. I'm thinking it might be a buffer. Thank you very much. So we are going to shoot this 308 12 and a half inch barrel pistol. Officially by the ATF, it's a pistol as of right now. And we are going to shoot it through ribs, pork shoulder. All this stuff has to be shot. Ribs, pork shoulder, pork loin. I've had this stuff for a while, and it, it's been refrozen and thawed out to go shooting. And then I couldn't shoot it or couldn't get to it that day. So that's that. Then we got four water jugs and the partially frozen newspapers behind it. And we're going to see how this Winchester Razor hog ammunition does in this test. Okay, here we go, 12 and a half inch versus all the pork, shoulder butts, ribs, loins. We got 308 Razor, I gotta shoot that stuff up. All right, here we go. All right, looks like it exploded pretty good. Let's see how we did. Okay, we have a scene here of mass destruction. There's our one water jug on the ground. The ribs fell on the ground too. We picked them back up. We found the, where is it? The entry hole is right here. 
and the exit hole on the ribs and it hit the top of this pork shoulder right through there hit the top of the pork loin it went through all four water jugs all right all four water jugs and it is in the box of newspapers so we'll see if we actually captured this bullet if the petals didn't peel off and all that kind of things from hitting so much hard half frozen pork so let me get this box open let's see I see it. All right. Well, that low velocity there, it ripped all the pedals off going through the hard pork. Like I said, it was partially frozen. That's Alaskan winter. I can't help that, guys. Kind of crazy. Can't really measure expansion. I'll take it back to the house and weigh it. But can't really measure expansion on that. Cool. So, Robbie... Was a little concerned about that jam. We've been messing with the adjustable gas block, making sure we, so we got the mag deck, which is what it jammed on. It actually jammed on the Winchester coming out and the mag deck coming in. So we got the mag deck here. And we're gonna see if it can run a full mag dump. Here we go. Might help to put it around in the chamber. Here we go. There's a jam. Whoop. Gotta drop the Mac first, Chip. The, yeah, the round came out right in front of you. Okay. It's only been with these mag decks so far going in. Another one. Try not to drop the gun in the snow or double feed it here. Three drams in 20 rounds. If you have suggestions on the what to do, let us know so we can fix it. Thank you very much. Go ahead, Robbie. Send it. Stuck case? Stuck something. Hmm. Didn't go in all the way, huh? Yeah, it didn't go in all the way. Weird. It destroyed the casing as well. Yeah. Sometimes when they don't go in all the way, it is actually an ammo problem. Yeah. Because the casing wasn't shaped correctly. Or got moisture on it or dirt on it or something like that. Something like that. So. That was the last one. So let's see. We had three shots after that. So yeah. 17 rounds went good. Jam on the 17th. Yeah, better than what it did for me. Yeah. it's You're getting it working in the right direction. Yeah. Any suggestions you guys have, let us know.